what's up guys I'm gonna be doing this video on it's gonna be a review about the uh, Traxxas Stampede two-wheel drive um, first version you can get um, it's the only it's a 30 mile an hour version it's a smaller version than the VXL the XL and the 4x4 VXL and stuff like that the different models um, anyways Let's get started. It is a little bit different because you'll notice, you see, the engine is black instead. It's like a small black one. Looks different. That's because I got the VXL upgrade for it, but it's still the same thing as yours, like the older version. So you could still watch the video. Anyways, um, all it got, all we got new was a new, um, element. ESC right here. Um, that's the only new thing we got plus the new engine. And we need to add on new um, front camber link. Front camber links, I guess. It's uh, this little plastic bar thing right here. I'm gonna get their metal for the uh, since it's gonna go faster and everything. We need to change it and make it tougher. So also we got these um, fast eddy. That's what they they call them bearings. It's twenty bucks for this huge pack of them, um, full of them, a lot, and they make it go about seven miles faster than. So it, it's gonna go forty five miles. But it goes seven miles faster with these bar bearings, so it's gonna go about fifty something miles an hour with those bearings on it. So it'll go a lot faster. It's gonna be really fast. So I'm excited. Um, I made my own homemade uh, bumper um, right here. Instead of paying, I think it's like ten bucks or five bucks or something for one just like it. And I do have a flashlight I install here, LED one. It's very small, so it works perfectly. It glows everything up, and it's really awesome. Um, anyways, and I installed new tougher shocks for the upgrade. So uh, let's get her started. For this new upgrade, you start it um, differently. Here. It's a hard way to start it. But to redo this. It's very hard and frustrating. But. Yeah, messed up already. So, um, hold it down. Supposedly. Let's use a different battery, but you have to hold the throttle down, plug the battery, well, hold the throttle down before you plug in the battery, so I kind of put it like this first to start off, hold the throttle down, put it in. So that was like a failure or some sort of thing, but I think we're bringing it into Jake's tomorrow, Jake's Performance Hobbies, and we're going to ask him about it. So I messed up anyways. Um, anyways, for the upgrade, first of all, it comes, the ESC comes with a totally different piece right here. You have to cut that piece off and then, um, put a new piece on and, uh, weld it on and everything and put it together and stuff. So we're going to Jake's tomorrow to ask him and get it, get him to start it, see what's going on with it. Okay, so this is how we do it here. Okay, to start the old version, it first of all it comes with a seven cell Nike had Traxxas Power Cell three uh, three thousand mAh battery, but for the upgrade you get the 4500 mAh battery it's a 
8.4 uh, volt 7 cell hump uh, NICAD battery. It's the dynamite battery. It's a speed pack. It's a lot faster and a lot longer lasting. So that's what's uh, different. So let's try this again. See here. I did get this one to start. I think I'm gonna do it a different way. Get it to start, but it's very, very irritating. Don't like it. But... It's going on here. I think it's because the batteries are dead, but. Anyways, whatever. Um, so when you get it, it's best to get this wheelie bar back here. Um, it's called a wheelie bar. Get that. Um, best to make a homemade bumper out of just plastic or rubber or something. Thick rubber. And add new shocks to the back. Um, and, uh, yeah, just make sure it's a big bumper and everything. It's not much stuff you have to do to make it last for a long time, but... Okay, so, anyway, that's about it. It comes with, these are the stock tires, um, fine tires, great. Um, I guess they do have really good front suspension. I really do like their front suspension a lot. It's perfect. And they come with this as the stock bumper, so it's pretty crappy, but just change it up with another one. And, uh... It is best to get these metal and plastic um, caps or front camber links for this plastic part. I broke it like several, well, I broke one of them and it is very easy to break just by hitting right here. The vibration goes, or right here. So even something can really easily swing around the tire and go boom right there on it. And uh, they break super simple cause easily because they're just right in the middle of the thing. Anyways, not much. It's a bit cool to have a battery cap thing. And you definitely do need the cover right here for your battery. It's very... You definitely need that. So, I've been driving these RC cars for a few years. So, we could try to start it up one more time. A few more times. Maybe with the other battery. Two, three, four. Very irritating. I'm sorry guys. Well go check out my other videos. Um I need telling you how to build homemade things for your RC cars and stuff. Um So yeah, that's about it. Um so Hopefully this helped you out, I guess. A bunch of wasted time. Um, 
but it'll come with a normal one to start the engine for this ESC, your old ESC. There's a button right here. Um, hold it down. It'll fl turn green, then red. It'll disappear, the red light. Then it'll flash red once. And then let go right when it flashes red once. That's race mode. But if you keep holding it and it flashes twice, that's uh, normal mode. Or no, that's race mode where you can't back up. And then the third time is training training mode where it just goes like 15 miles an hour. It only lets you go about 15. So that's how you turn it on for the old version. And uh, it's very simple. Then you just get it and go boom and take off. So yeah, it's a lot simpler. So I want to figure out how to turn this on real quick. I do know, but it doesn't work the way I'm doing it, and it's upsetting. So yeah, peace out. Hopefully this helped. Um, enjoy.